One thing about me, I'm all about self-care. And nails. Lots of nails. Welcome to my channel. This is Kiki Pretty Life 23. Here we go. <laughs> What's up? Ugh. Ugh. How the heck that happened? What's up, everybody? This is Kiki, and welcome to my channel. I am back with another video. So for this nail set I'm going to be doing today is going to be based off my favorite comedian since I was a kid. It is Cat Williams. Yay! So Cat Williams is one of my favorite comedians because he just be telling like like it is and he's hilarious in any type of way. And he's got a show coming up in Grand Rapids at the Vandell Arena um, this April. So I am very excited. So of course, when I went on Facebook, I saw this right here. I, I, wanna, I wanna show y'all something. <gasps> oh my God, just Cat Williams decals. It's Cat Will decals, yo. You know. You know. I have to do Cat William nails. I mean, it's only perfect for the occasion. So, the uh, nail decals that I got right here, these are from CC Nails on Facebook. I'm going to tag her down below if I can. I don't know if she got a YouTube channel or anything, but I'm going to show y'all the screenshot on this side here. All right, the, this side here, and also um, I'm gonna show y'all her page and everything like that because you know I gotta give credit with the dude. You know we all gotta support each other as nail techs and uh, and our divas and the stuff that we sell and the things that we make and everything. Cause it's hard being a nail tech out here. Like we don't get paid as much as hairstylists and makeup artists. Well, I don't know about the makeup artist industry, but I know them hairstylists. Like they make it bank. All right, they make it bank. So. All that being said, I had to get these, and yeah, I just cannot wait to put these on the nails here, so I'm really excited. Um, so I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do these nails, but I know I want everything to kind of blend in with the pictures that's on here. I'm not going to be able to use all the pictures that's on this, but I do want to use at least a um, good four, maybe five of these. I really don't know yet, but um, we're going to go on a whim here and just do them the way that I feel like would be nice. But yeah, so I'm really excited for this show coming up. Uh, I still gotta get the tickets, but I gotta get them quick because I don't know how long it's gonna be before they sell out. But all I know is, is that I am so ready for the show and you know your girl gotta go for the occasion, all right? So let's go ahead and get started, you guys. Let's go. Okay, so get it started on the nails. Uh, this is the shape that I'm going for. So this is the medium square nail tips. And um, I'm going for this shape just because I want to make sure I have enough room for the decals to fit on. Um, usually with these type of decals, you can fit on more pretty long square nails. So you can really see the whole image. But because I want to make sure that his whole face is on there, I decided to go with this shape and length. And then it was a little plastic in pieces sticking out. So what I did was is I just filed the top really good just to get them nice and shaped up. And and neat and now they are ready to be designed so just showing y'all everything that came with the decal kit so um it came with three these pink ones but these will be the demo ones so these are the ones that you kind of practice with uh, before you use the actual decals which is real nice because knowing me i tend to screw up things a lot especially with me not following directions i don't like reading the instructions i like to just kind of go based off what i think is right but with this i didn't want to screw it up so it's really easy um all you got to do is just cut around the um black line there just cut it around that just to get the shape that you want and then after you cut the shape, then you want to go ahead and get some water here. So I'm just going to use this um, cap um, just to show y'all how it works. Now you see my dumbbell done screwed all the water up and uh, spilled it all over. But it is what it is. So now you just want to take your decal and just want to dip it in that water. And then after you dip it in there, you just want to give it about maybe a good few seconds for that water to seep into the decal. And then what's going to happen is that once it's nice and soaked in there, you could just easily slide it right off the paper. And then uh, once you slide off the paper, then all you got to do is just put it on your nail. And it's best to use foil glue on your nail before you put these on because that's how they're going to stick right on there. 
Okay, so just like the same thing that I showed you on the pink demo, now I'm going to do it with these decals here. So again, just cutting around the line and everything. Now, I'm not going to be able to use the whole decal just because the nails are a little bit shorter. So my main focus is to focus on his face because like <laughs> Cat Williams makes the funniest facial expressions. And just in case y'all want to know where these pictures came from, um, this was actually during an interview that he did with Club Shay. And I could be wrong about the name. I don't know if it's Club Shay or Club Shay Shay. I don't really watch the channel that much. But I had to watch it because Cal Williams was in it and he was just going in on people like different celebrities, different people that he know. I mean, that man has no filter at all, especially when that alcohol hits. I know. I know he is just a, a, like a freaking laugh just to be around like your stomach go be hurting. But yeah, so that's where these pictures were from. And uh, I think one of my favorite parts that he said in the interview when he was talking about the P. Diddy parties and how like if P. Diddy wants you to party you tell like you got to tell them no you got to tell them no so that part right here had me dead because it's like i mean like i would definitely say no you know definitely not to a p diddy party i heard a lot of stuff going on in there and i ain't got time for it okay so definitely i, I take cal williams advice but yeah so i'm just cutting these out and everything making sure they shape onto the nails and then afterwards, I'm just going to test out, see where I want to position decals from. Because his head is a little bit higher up there, I do have a little bit of room to work with um, as far as like um, making sure that his whole face is in there. So that's perfect. And then this is the Beatles foil glue that I'm going to be using on the nails to stick the decals on. So I'm just doing one layer and then I'm just going to cure it in the lamp for about 60 seconds just to make sure it's nice and cured on there. And I know my Beatles polish bottle looks like a hot mess. You're wondering why there's so much green on there. Um, Y'all probably seen it on my other video when I was using this. But um, some green polish got all over the place. And I could not properly clean it off like I could. Because it was just like, I think some of the light hits the gel. So it kind of cured on the bottle a bit. So I just could not get it off. So yeah, this bottle looks like a hot mess. But I have too much foil glue to be wasting. So best believe, I don't care how much mess messy it looks. I'm going to still use it. So then just like I showed on the pink demo, now I'm just going to take my decals and just dip them in that water and then wait until they get nice and soft enough where it'll loosen up the adhesive and then I could just slide it right off the piece of paper. So now I'm just going to stick it right onto the nail with the tweezers. Um, one thing I will say is make sure that it's a little dry before you stick it right on there. But I didn't really have no issues. Now, it was my first time doing de um, sorry, decals like this. Um, one thing that I did have an issue with was uh, making sure that it was nice and smooth on the nail. So I feel like that's kind of a learning curve for me. It's just making sure that it's nice and smooth on there. Um, I don't know if it has to do with uh, the type of nails that I'm using because my nails are a little bit more on the C curve type of shape so I feel like because of that it kind of caused some wrinkles in the decal it could be anything really it could be just on my end of um, how I'm putting on the decal but um, yeah I just kind of try my best another thing I also kind of screwed up on with this one is that I put the decal too far onto one side so it caused the other side to not be fully covered but it was totally fine I was able to still work with it um, you know if all fails I'm gonna put some rhinestones on this nail anyway so I'll cover up all the mistakes that I made but I just stick it right onto the nail and then I cut off any access and uh, I know on the instructions she said to file it off that's what I should have done because messing with this too much caused a lot of ripples and stuff like that but it wasn't no huge issue because once I put the top coat on it kind of like deepened up the color of the picture anyway so it caused some of the wrinkles to not show as much but yeah I'm still gonna pop some rhinestones on there okay just to cover up all the mistakes so just taking my file like I should have done, I'm just filing off the access and it actually came off so much more easier than me trying to clip it off. So that's what I end up doing for all the other nails. But yeah, you just filing the rest of that off.
Okay, so the next step I'm going to do is add some top coat on my decals and I'm going to cure it under the lamp. Now, this is a non-white top coat, so I will have to buff this at the end just to make sure that the acrylic is sticking on. Since I am adding acrylic on these nails, I just want to make sure that the decals are nice and protected so that way the monomer doesn't affect them or cause any issues or anything so and as you can see as i'm adding the top coat it started to deepen up the colors a little bit more and you don't really see the cracks as much as more which is real good so it definitely um did a good job with just covering those things with the top coat so that really helps a lot Okay, so after buffing the nails really good, now I'm just going to give them a good wipe just to make sure they're nice and clean. And I'm just using 90% alcohol for this. Okay, so now I'm going to apply my acrylic. So I'm just going to encapsulate the whole decal with some clear acrylic. And I'm going to do that first before I do the other nails. So when I was applying the acrylic on the other decals, I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do with the other nails. And I decided to just go with a nude because, you know, nude goes with everything. And I'm actually going to do some free hand drawing on these. So these are going to be for the hand free drawing designs. But yeah, so that's what I decided to do for the other ones. I was going to add probably like for the pinky, probably like a full bling. I was going to do that, but I'm like, man, I, I kind of already did that last time. I kind of want to switch it up. So that's when I decided to just do all nude for the rest and I also must say this now polish got some of the best acrylic I have ever worked with like you see I have to get this big container of this uh, nude me uh, is what it's called one of my favorite nudes I love using for all my acrylic sets so now polish 
girl if you out there and you need a sponsor please let me sponsor your products because i absolutely love them and i love the colors and the consistency it, it lays like butter i mean you just can't get no better than this acrylic right here so i just wanted to say that shout out to her because this is one of my staples when it comes to all my new sets and this is just one of my favorites so After laying on my acrylic this is how the set came out and it really looked good just like this like even though we haven't added the top coat on the decals yet i already know once that top coat goes on it's just gonna pop so much more so i'm gonna go ahead and wait to the acrylic dry a little bit and then um, i went ahead and filed and buffed the nails i did not record that whole process because i don't want to make this video too long but i did all that my usual if you want to see how i do it um watch my older videos and you will see how i shape them so now for the decals, I'm just adding some um, poly gel, just some loose poly gel onto the base because I'm going to add some rhinestones in that area. So what I usually do for my rhinestones is that I just add the poly gel first and then I do a top coat over it and not white top coat. And then I go ahead and add my rhinestones. So that's what I'm doing right here. And um, once I add the top coat, it just really just made the whole picture come to life. It just, you know, brought out the colors and everything. And you really don't even see much of the imperfections, which is pretty good. So, I mean, for my first try doing decals, it wasn't really that bad. So you just got to, you know, practice and learn and, you know, you get better. And that's, you know, what it was in this experience. But it was really, really nice. It came out so good, y'all. So for any imperfections and I see any cracks, any wrinkles, anything, I'm just going to cover it with rhinestones because why not, you know? Um, it's gonna look good and on top of that it's really gonna add something to the decal so I'm just using regular A and B um, rhinestones for this
all right y'all so i'm going to be showing y'all all the colors i'm going to be using uh, for this freehand art on the nude nail so i got some black i also have like a baby blue color i also got um this uh, picture that i want to do kind of like a laughing emoji so I'm, i got some yellows and all different kind of colors so i'll show y'all in the video here but i'm going to be doing those on the nude nails So for one of the fingers, I decided to do something different. So I'm going to be using my chick from um, Madame Glenn, which is this bright glittery yellow. And I'm going to be using this as a base first. And then afterwards, I'm going to be drawing the face right on top. So it's going to be like a laughing, you know, emoji. So that's going to be for one of the fingers there.
after all the hand work now i'm just going ahead and just top coat everything just on the ones that i had drew on the ones with the decals i didn't have to top coat twice because they already top coated so that's already done for me i just have to top coat the nails that i had hand painted on so once i did that i popped that in the lamp along with the other nails just to make sure that the rhinestones were um cured on really good and then after that that was pretty much it all right y'all so the nails are done and they turned out so cool i absolutely love the way how they came out and i love how everything just goes together i cannot wait till the show and i thought it was in april it's actually in may so that is one month later which is cool with me because that means it gives me plenty of time to get my money together and all that stuff but yeah so definitely i cannot wait to the show and if anybody going to the show let me know in the comments below like what city and state you're from and is the show good if you already seen it if so let me know but on top of that i cannot wait to wear these for the show and i gotta find an outfit to match with this because you know you just got to right so i cannot wait to see what i'm gonna wear with these but yeah these are just really nice and yeah i cannot wait to rock these so i will put down see my nails um, website link in my bio so if y'all want to check out her website and see her decals that she sell and i know she sells some other stuff as well so i definitely want to check that out but yeah i will leave the link down below there and her page as well screenshot of that um but yeah i appreciate y'all for watching all right peace if you haven't already hit that subscribe button down below it's going to be below my video and also hit that notification bell for more updates on my content along with that you can follow me on my other social media pages as well for more updates on my other content that i post outside of here but anyways i hope y'all have a good one stay safe out there and stay blessed goodbye mm -hmm.